A, that he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched the boat. Mm -hmm. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water, and were almost tipping over. Stop. And so they came to Jesus, and they woke him up and said, Master, Master, we're about to drown. Then he arose, and he came up, and he stood on the deck, and he looked the storm right in the face, and he said, Peace, be still. And the storm came to a complete calm. And then he said to his disciples, where is your faith? And they were afraid, marveled, saying to one another, Who can this be? For he commands even the winds and the waves, and they obey him. Then they sailed to the country of the Galilees, which is opposite of Galilee. And when he stepped out of the boat, there met him a certain man from the city who had demons for a long time. And he wore no clothes. Nor did he live in a house, but in the graveyard. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him. And with a loud voice, something said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, son of man? Hi, God, I beg you, do not torment me. For he commanded the unclean spirits to come out of the man. Stop that. For it had often seized him. And he was kept under guard, bound with chains and shackles. And he broke the bonds and was driven by the demons into the wilderness. Jesus asked him, what is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered into him. And they begged him that he would not command them to go back to hell. Now a herd of many pigs were feeding there on the mountain, so they begged him that he would allow them to go into the pigs. And he allowed that. Then the demons went out of the man and entered the pigs. And the herd ran violently down a steep place over a cliff into the lake and drowned. Mm -hmm. 